and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for the return of Bant Arcbow. Sorry, one of our favorite decks from last format. I tried playing Bant Arcbow one time so far with M20 being out. I had a bunch of Cavalier of Dawns and everything, and our deck was a little clunky and had Risen Reefs and stuff. And it, it was a little slow and, and didn't work super well. However, uh, given the deck a facelift, retrying it, getting Teferi back in here, and making this more about Nightpack Ambusher instead of uh, Shalai and Spark Double, trying to get the Shalai combo. Instead, our deck's all about Nightpack Ambusher, because this card is honestly just really, really strong. And so we not only have our four Flash Wolves and trying to play it at the instant speed game with the Arc Bow, we also got the Raph Capacitor in here, which if we have Raph, then we can play any of our uh, other historic spells here at instant speed, which is really nice for the Ambusher. So that's a really good target to find with Arc Bow. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, we got a couple of Tulsimers in here to go with the Nightpack Ambushers, and that's kind of our deck. Now, the, the thing that I the thing to be a little bit worried about this deck is our, our curve is high, of course. We have lots of 4s and 5s, as you can tell. But that's because you, you really want that to maximize your arc bows. You want a lot of 4 and 5 mana cards, because we're just going to be arc bowing basically for no, no less than 4, of course. But then, for the most part, we're going to be wanting to activate arc bow at 5 mana. But then we're, like, basically always hitting something good whenever we're activating arc bow at 5. The problem, though, is that we could be pretty slow out of the gates with that. Like, we are really relying on our nine mana creatures. So this is the kind of deck that if you're playing this, if you don't have one of your nine mana creatures in your hand, you really have to think about mulliganing your hand. Um, especially with the London mulligan rule, this is a deck that, that you are really relying on these mana creatures. But we can't really play too many. We don't want to play, like, 12 mana creatures... Because then that takes down on like our number of hits with our four and five mana cards and stuff like that. So it's a it's an intricate balance. But you you certainly want that first mana creature uh, to speed you up because you want to start doing these four mana stuff on turn three. Uh, but but that's what we have <clears throat> for our deck. We got a Tristanian here because of the mass manipulation decks are, are kind of popular. We got another one in the sideboard uh, to help us there. I didn't. I ended up. I I didn't end up going with. A, I cut the Dovin's vetoes, and I didn't. And I'm not playing Veil of Summer because I really want to keep the creature count high with our Arc Bows. So I don't want to play that many spells. We got the Shifting Ceratops in here. I got Vivian Reads against Esper because Vivian has a lot of really good targets to hit with that plus one. And when you have an Arc Bow, even if you plus one and grab a land, and then it lets you ditch the land, it just gives you a good amount of um, fuel. I certainly thought about playing uh, Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, like two of those, but I think that Vivian's better with this deck, like where we can go find Ambushers and Frilled Mystics and so on. Um, but that's our deck. Let's give it a try. We're going over to Ranked over here to Mythic today. We're playing five matches with these three decks. We're going with a Rank Up Sunday theme today. So let's see how we do with our five matches. We did very good with Gruel. Not so good with Grixis, but it wasn't a bad league. It, I think Grixis is better than what the 2-3 showed, and we talked about an important change at the end of that video to the deck. Uh, just a small one, just changing out two cards, but an important change. And here we go. Yeah, I'm going to be missing the Angels, too. I'm going to be missing R Resplendent, Shalai, Lyra. I'm, I may have played those three Angels more than anybody else, basically. I've played the heck out of those three Angels. I really liked those cards. I'll miss them. Looks like we may be the only person trying to play a match on Arena right now. Currently waiting one minute. All right, so it didn't find a pairing for us. That happens sometimes. For some rant, for, for whatever reason, it just struggles to get you a pairing. So it just says draw, and then it, it's basically just telling you to, to try to reset. Uh, Grixis is not up on YouTube yet, because, you know, we just finished it up. It's got about 45 minutes or so uh, to go with the upload.
So yeah, like this is an awesome hand at four mana, but nothing to do before turn four. Assuming we draw a blue source, this would be a pretty awesome hand. Yeah, Nightpack Ambusher and Frilled Mystic. On the draw, I'm absolutely mulliganing this, but I maybe I should keep this on the play because we have the, the two Ambushers. Because that is honestly really strong. Maybe I keep this on the play. Alright, we'll give it a try. Against my better judgment, we'll give this a try. So then, this is for science. We'll see if, if this isn't winning with four, we know that we have to just mulligan hands. For sure. They don't have plays before. Alright, Teferi's a play before. Shifting Ceratops is good against Simic Flash. And... Sorry, I'm late. Simic Flash, Mono Blue. Might be a bad idea. It's also not bad against Control. Because it can be a hasty dino. No! Why why you do this? Don't worry. I got this. No. Ugh. I was not uh That's so rough. Nothing. Oh, time raveler, man, we were <laughs> we were looking really good for a minute. I've got time. I think you will find my notes helpful. That's more like it. I should have done the, the Teferi minus first, but it's all right. I'm kind of surprised they didn't just grab... I guess if they grab Golgari Queen... Like, they grab Golgari Queen, they get to kill the Teferi, but... Let's try this. I am playing 26 lands with this, this deck also, by the way. I'm playing a lot of lands. And so the whole... Not not draw lands thing is not ideal at all. Yes, you cannot play at instant speed with Safari on the battlefield. I don't think there's really a way for us to beat Command the Dread Horde.
if our opponent has it. Which the... Pick targets that interest me. Lucky you. I will Don't be surprised if we meet again. Seek and find. I'll protect you. <laughs> oh, the day is yours. I can't let them have the Tamio. Because then Tamio grabs back Command the Dread Horde. And I'm in a lot of trouble. So I just have to go with the deputy here. Oh, wait, but then Teferi just bounces. Ugh, yeah, I'm just dead. Okay, good. That's good for us. That's not so good. Now we're just, we're just dead. I've we can't it. beat all of these planeswalkers that can come back. Whoa, they're not getting rid of the deputy. Need them to have no removal and no command the dread horde. <laughs> For a turn. That doesn't seem super likely. But that's what we need. Man, that Teferi wrecked us, so definitely need to make sure we have mana creatures to try to get this Frilled Mystic out before Teferi, or, you know, some threat before Teferi. Uh, speaking of Teferi, I don't want my own. I don't feel like this Deputy Detention is a very good card either. I think I want just to try to exile, like, their Wild Growth Walkers, like, for good with baffling end and they just don't come back and let's get another Tristani for if they steal our things get rid of the Tulsimer The only problem with not playing deputy is, you know, their their planeswalkers, especially Tamio, can be a problem. I don't really want to play this Tulsimer, but I don't. I'm not really seeing anything else I really want to play. Instead, so I guess I'm just playing Tulsimer.
I like the new set a lot, Adriel. I like M20. Well, not hands that I would say were good. We'll see if they have Golgari Queen or Little Teferi trophy or anything like that. Hope not. Man, I was feeling really good about that game whenever they had the, their first two lands look like this, and then suddenly white land to fairy on turn three. Man, that shut us down so hard. All right, good. We got two white, white sources in here now, too. We're doing just fine. All right, Arcbow should be really good for us. Just ditching the Shalai again. I don't really need it. Just activating Arcbow for six every turn. All right, so we know the Tulsmer is down there. I don't need to try to hit Tulsmer first. We're hoping, hoping to get the wolf here. Uh, Lyra would not be bad either. Trust me. We should find I one of the four fight. wolves though. Haven't seen one yet. Digging, digging another six cards. All right, well we got Lyra. Definitely want to make Command the Dreadhorde worse. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. So yeah, playing this, we get to look at seven deep towards another Frilled Mystic here for a Command the Dread Horde. I 
Honestly, I probably should not have even attacked with the Frilled Mystic the last turn. I probably shouldn't have let them let the Jade Light Ranger die, honestly. Alright, Mystic. Nailed it. All right, they're down to six. That's, that's not, that's not fortunate. Best card would definitely be Liliana. Good, no, no Liliana. So they do get to Assassin's Trophy, my Dawnbringer. For my study. So I don't even know if that's really good for me. I have the two basics in the deck, which we obviously drew both of them. The <laughs> Darn. I have learned little here. Keeping Hallow Fountain in hand in case we do draw another arc bow. It's only two arc bows, right? Because I discarded one. Yeah. you can do it yeah barely got there scraped the scraped through there that was, we did not have a very good hand but we barely got there this Tulsimer is really not very good I guess I guess we'll play a Ceratops instead of the Tulsimer <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, glad you yeah, glad Legion's End worked for you. Yeah, exile two creatures and then again two creatures when you flash it back with Chandra. That is awesome. Yeah, Legion's End is sweet. Now we don't necessarily lose because they they go first. We're gonna need mana creatures though. You know, like we need a, a better hand. We've had some really slow hands. We haven't had hand you know, with a mana creature or anything. Bleh. Oh, yeah, yeah, Graft Digger's Cage stops Arcbow. Yep. Does anybody play Graft Digger's Cage? The 
Of course, we can just cast our creatures like normal, though. This is game number three. You can see up here that our opponent has one win, and then down here we have one win. It's these little dots here. So this is the third game. So I'm, I'm doing kind of like the, the weird play here because I'm not really scared of, I don't think like this turn is like a turn to really necessarily be scared of like what they can, what they can play. And so I, I want the Frilled Mystic for command or like, you know, the following turn basically. And obviously Frilled Mystic, it's a lot better to have the arc bow in play with Frilled Mystic also. So I'm taking a turn off, getting these things in play. Um... And now we're, we're just in the driver's seat. I have learned all I can. Now they could have Liliana, Command the Dread Horde, a bunch of scarier things. So we got Frilled Mystic. Or if we, if we don't need a Frilled Mystic, then we got Arcbow. There we go. GG's. Yeah, Ambusher is a is just a really, really good card. Um I am excited playing this this deck again here with Ambusher. I should have been on Ambusher to begin with. All right, so Anthony is playing Vampires, I think. We just played against Anthony with Grixis. I'm pretty sure it was Vampires. Well, this is the hand we're keeping anyway. Arc bow, arc bow, arc bow, arc bow, no. Yeah, you did, flat dude. You're like trying the try the ambusher, and I was like, I don't know if, we, if it's really going to be that that great if we really need it. Yeah, it turns out it's awesome. Yes, I would like to kill your knight of the Evan Legion. Thank you. All right, fair play, fair play. If you're going to be slowed down, I'm going to be slowed down. Fair enough. Um. 
Yeah, you only gain mastery level. You only gain mastery levels for uh, the daily. You know, like the fifteen weekly wins, and then there's whatever quest you get every day. So it doesn't matter. Like once you do your quest, it doesn't matter that you play as much as I do. I can't just like level up to level one hundred right away. You have to wait every day to get a new quest, or every week to get new weekly wins. We can draw an arc bow, please. I'd like to draw an arc bow. I'm glad they don't have uh, that card that's really good. Champion of Dusk. Well, now this is going to be beautiful. Just don't cast anything. Just activate Shalai every turn. Yeah. Alright, Vampires. Let's get these things. Let's get that. Uh, these this no little teferi and uh, we trim it over here does Tulsmer actually kill things or not Probably not. All right, Tolsmer gone. Oh, we, we could just take out Frilled Mystics, actually. I know, I know. No Spark Double Shalai combo. That's gotta be wrong not playing Frilled Mystic, right? Yeah, that's gotta be wrong. All right, trimming, trimming this a little bit because we're bringing in the four baffling ends. I don't want to just take out all of our top end. Yeah, it's definitely Tulsmer's best target is uh, Legion Lieutenant, for sure. see also great draw next turn we can go arc bow temple garden Bleh. card I did not want to see 
No. Ugh. That was a really bad turn for us. We got our four deputy detentions that could be taking the Soren. I don't know, taking whatever, doing its thing. Our opponent's probably just sitting on removal here, though. So we're going to game three. The blood is the light. Very good hand for them. GG's. Oh yeah. New Soren definitely four of. It's strong to quite strong. I feel like I should be playing these. Do I just not play deputy? Because, like, Soren's plus deals the three damage, also, you know? I just go this. Maybe I just don't go with. Yeah, maybe I just take out deputy. All right, good night, Storm. See you tomorrow. All right, game three. We run six of a card in a deck, like in any deck. I mean, I guess, I mean, it's just Land War Elf. You could play six of any card. You're just playing six Land War Elves. We're just playing that in all the green decks. I mean that's that's the card. better work. Man, wish we had two blue sources. Hey, what's up, Minnesota? 
Thanks for that sub there. Appreciate that support. Only we had another blue source. Why not Shalai? Because just passing we get a 3-3. Three, three. Instead of just like playing our card, get a 3-4. I don't know, we just get that get that a little bit of value there, get that free creature. Having Soren champion. So hard to beat. It's like the, the thing that keeps on being us with the vampire decks, people having Soren and Champion. So Our good. Feet, for life. And then usually draw into another champion. Hey, Fell Jones. Thanks for the sub there. It's definitely helping my opponent with tight attack with the knight, also. I would have. Cast the settle, or you know, just let us get the fr you know if they would have just cast anything would have been on the frilled mystic, but nope. Um, let's see. I mean, they they have another blocker here with the Danto Vanguard. It's not like we I can just take their one their one blocker.
I have another blocker there. Thanks, Fel Jones. I bestow a mighty curse. We'll see how much they play around Settle the Wreckage. I mean, nobody really plays Settle the Wreckage at all. I'm like the only person here playing a Settle the Wreckage, so. We'll see if they are expecting it or not. No, our opponent doesn't know anything about any of the cards in our hand. And unless they're watching the stream, which then they may know all the cards. So we got rid of those. The Soren's still going to kill us. Like, we're we're still losing this game. Soren is very, very strong. Um, so they were not expecting the settle. I mean, I, I got to hope that they have, like, at least two lands over there in their hand. That's, like, my only hope. I think that they have like removal spells, you know, like mortifies to sparks, that kind of stuff. Why can't we have one more land? Because they get to make a three-three, lifelink death touch every single turn, uh, with the with the Adanto and Soren. Like this this combination, I'm just not beating. We get to somehow untap with this wolf. That'd be awesome. Please let us untap. No, let us untap. Ugh. That's what we needed. We need because that would start making three threes for us. Ugh. Yeah, Orzhov Vampires is one of the best decks in, in Standard. Absolutely. Uh, this this card is just so powerful. It took it from, well, really the combination of two cards, that and Knight of the Ebon Legion. Those two cards took it from not being played whatsoever to 
being really strong. Some respect. Yeah, all the games that we've lost are like, so you know, like right away in the beginning of the game, soaring into, um, soaring into champion. Every game that we lose against vampires, it's like when they don't have that, they're like too slow, and we win. And when they have that, we lose. They had that two of those games. They had that two of the three games, and they got us. They drew a lot of removal spells, too, for, for their deck, which is, which is very good against me. All right, one and one. I don't, I don't know like exactly how I'm supposed to be sideboarding there, like if I'm supposed to be playing those deputy at attentions or not. They're playing so much removal post-board, though. It didn't really seem like I was supposed to be playing those. I guess. is this card just a 1-1 one, one. deals combat damage to a player proliferate on the draw without a mana creature I probably should just need to go to 5 honestly on the draw without a mana creature we're just so slow that's the, the one problem with the deck, as I talked about before. Whenever we don't have mana creatures, our deck is really slow. I can no longer stand by and watch. There goes nothing. Or a 26 land deck. So we should be able to draw a land here. Preferably two lands in a row. Maybe go like Wrath to Flash Lyra. Uh, Conclave Tribunals. Messy. It's only a matter of time. Or none of our four draw steps were a land. Or that. No, I don't think we need Baffling End. I'm just going to try to keep a better hand. Alright, I'll be mulliganing this on the draw, but I'll keep it on the play. Having interaction on three and then 
these two cards. Wrath makes a lot of our cards better. Why do they always get Land War Elf? I'm jealous. Alright, well, Paradise Shirt was an awesome draw. And the best draw we could have. So I can't complain. That was our, that was our best draw right there. With another best draw. Time for the ambusher to start getting them. All right, we're going to a game three. With us, yeah, with us having the Frilled Mystics, we just don't need a Deputy Elf. Just keep pumping out three threes. We can counter whatever they want to play, Deputy Elf, to swing for lethal next turn. All right, going to play a Knight of Autumn for the Conclave Tribunal that we've seen both games. Looks like they're pretty into Conclave Tribunal, so I'll play one Knight of Autumn over that Tristani. Oh, man, no white mana. And no arc bow. Uh, it's so hard to mulligan lands a double Lanoir Elf. I just stream these days, Grumble. I'm not. I'm not mulligan in the hand with with the land war elves. Either we draw. I mean, like, like basically everything that we could draw is going to be good. Like we draw white mana, that would be good. We draw arc bow is good. We draw uh, some other four drop that we play. You know, like Frilled Mystic and, and Ambusher, those would be good. Basically, our only bad draw steps are like another Lyra Dawnbringer or, you know, more white spells before drawing the white mana. Which there's not very many other white spells in the deck. I mean, there's obviously there's some, but that's a, a lot lower percentage. So I want to counter Jade by Ranger. Honestly, this this may be, you know, it looks like it too, too greedy to just play to keep the Frilled Mystic up. They missed a land drop. Just play this. Oh, I didn't have a second blue mana. What am I doing? I don't know why I thought I I did. <laughs> yeah, did not have a second blue mana. I just wanted to pass turn. I don't want to do anything.
where are where are our lands? Our opponents probably th thinking the same thing though. <clears throat> There's Jade Light. Definitely need to counter that thing. Twenty-six lands. Haven't drawn one yet. Mystic's just so strong, especially with mana creatures. Such a good card. Okay, there we go. Hmm, I can still only single spell. I, I mean, I guess I can Deputy and Shalai. That's not bad. Shall I protect deputy from removal? Tulsamore fight this 3-3. And that should likely do it. I mean, even if we don't fight, I guess we could just attack. All right, getting back in there. Before that win, the ranking, rankings up kind of hard. They, you get knocked down more for losing than you get for winning. Because before that, we were at the same spot as where we started today, and we were seven and five before that match, and we were at the exact same spot before. Now we're eight and five on the day, and we've only basically moved up one spot. <laughs> like whenever we won, we were in like the same spot as this. Is are you not comfortable with red, with red aggro with that uh, red aggro rankler? Yeah, the numbers go up to twelve hundred for ranked.
Yeah, everybody always has it in for red aggro, but that doesn't mean it's it's a bad choice, though. So this looks like this is four color reanimate. So four color reanimate, probably not gonna be as good against deputy detention. Let's get those in here. Uh, Tristani and Tulsimer aren't really very important. Um, do I want Settle for Jackie Seth? A Baffling End for a Tombbound Lich? I don't think I really want that. I don't know, a Ceratops? I guess I just play a Tristani or a Tulsimer, I suppose. I guess, no, let's play a Vivian. Vivian kills Jackie Seth. Yeah, let's play Vivian. Uh, it says it says eighty eight percent for our opponent. <laughs> yeah, Arkbo is a lot of fun to play. Just keep spinning the wheel. All we want are mana creatures and arc bows in our hand. And that's arc bows, but not, not any mana creatures or lands. Ugh, I guess. Is this better than going to five? Opponent's going opponent has gone to five. Yeah, I'm playing twenty six lands for a reason. Ugh. Wanna hit lots of land drops with arc bow, so good chance we draw lands. We'll keep it. We need to draw two more lands, and with Arkbo, it doesn't really matter what colors of lands we get, but we, we need to draw two more lands. It could be any lands. It's not a land, that's bad. No. Oh, hooray. Our only good card in our in our hand. We get to keep it. Yay. Ooh, I guess I'm supposed to play this. Man, if they have Ritual of Soot, that would be so sad. Cause I kind—I didn't really think of Ritual of Soot. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. Dueling you will be excellent research. To the library. Trust 
You'll thank me later. Don't worry, I got this. Okay, opponent's deck looks You're a lot different than what I was expecting guilty. it to. They have Risen Reef, Paradise Druid. No, they do have Ritual of Soot. Wow. The old Paradise, the old like deck full of two drops and three drops and Ritual of Soot. Oh, uh, they got me. All right, so I, I guess I need to I need to take out Deputy. I need to sideboard that thing out. Yeah, we got God. I think you will find my notes helpful. Great part about playing Arcbow. Get instant speed angels. Should be discarded. I'll protect you. I will not stand for such violence. And we know we put like some good cards down at the bottom. I'm a little afraid of whiffing on five cards, to be honest. I kind of want to play this breeding pool, make it six cards that we look at. Yeah, I'm going to do that. You know they have Cavalier of Thorns. Well, that didn't pan out.
Yeah, was that was there another Lyra in there too? Yeah, there was. So that's all of our Lyras. Yeah, I discard something. Guess they got two good cards. Or two cards they don't maybe two bad cards. Ooh. I've got time. So whatever they have in hand is better than Better than Assassin's Trophy. Interesting. Hey, that was uncalled for. I've only seen like the one frilled mystic so far. So I think I think it's a good chance that we hit a frilled mystic here. These these things have lifelink? Huh. Okay. Well, we are three and one. And our last ranked match today. Then we're going to be moving on to our donation decks after this. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the yeah the Cavalier Thorn seems like it would have been a good card to play. Also, I don't I don't know exactly what was going on there. I don't know. Hey, nothing but zero. Hello. All right, so we got our Paradise Druid. Come on, 26 land deck. Don't let us down. Give us a land here. Give us a land. No. Definitely not attacking with the Paradise Druid and getting the Hexproof out of there. We need... We need that Paradise Druid so bad. Land. Come on, we just need any land. Any land will do. Doesn't matter which land. Out of the play of... Any of our lands. Uh, it's not a land. Our hand was so good, except for we just didn't have land. We just had one more land. Excellent timing. This would have been an easy one. Try this. Too late, deck. Too late. Got it. So we needed to land in our first two draw steps. And we would have had this game easily underhand. But 
Well, that was our best draw. Come on, please let us kill Teferi. Please let us kill Teferi. Please let us kill Teferi. This might be a bad idea. Just, just pass the turn. Just pass. Just don't do anything. Ugh. It's amazing how, like, we are just getting destroyed, but if we would have <laughs> just had that, that third land earlier, we would have destroyed our opponent. Magic's a crazy game. That's more like it. How are we getting stuck on land so much with our 26 land deck? Happens again. We still just drew one land that entire match. Entire game. So yeah, deputy attention definitely out of here. You know it. Like, the best thing Deputy Detention can do is, like, clean up a bunch of tokens, but it's, like, their deck has just so much removal in it, you just can't play Deputy Detention. Obviously getting our other Tristani in here also, and the Vivians for the card advantage. We have to cut one card. What card are we cutting? Is it the Time, just cut a Time Raveler? Cut a Dawnbringer. Cut a Dawnbringer. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I need to cut 11 lands and then I'll be flooded. That math checks out.
All right. I don't have very many cards in my deck that Cryler Canarium is good against, but that these are the ones. That was like the perfect time for it. Hopefully they have more Cryler Canariums over there. All right, so Vivian's my best card to play. However, not only does Vivian get Dovin's Vetoed, but then also like uh, Dispark and everything like that. I'd rather them Dispark Lyra. than anything else. Okay, or they're just gonna have Kai's Wrath. Greenland? Yay. So the problem with playing Vivian Again, not only like to spark, but if I play Vivian, they they just go big to fairy, tuck Vivian, and then I'm like pretty, I'm kind of far behind. We're getting Tristani out here, gets a lot of a lot of bodies. It's unlikely that they have another Kaya's Wrath. Well, obviously my my play of not playing Vivian is bad against Thought Erasure, so that's what my opponent has this Thought Erasure. My play of playing Lyro is not good against Kai's Wrath, so that's what my opponent had. My plan of holding on to Vivian was bad against Thought Erasure, so that's what my opponent had. They also um, had... They also did have the Dispark, so I'm kind of glad I didn't play the Vivian into the Dispark, but... I'm known for my excellent time. You know what? Oh, well. I'm not done yet. They've kind of had it all. Yeah, they had the Dispark, they've had the... Had to fairies now. Don't make another move. Just hoping for not another wrath. I mean, I don't think we can really like play around stuff too much. We need to move quickly. Definitely good for us for no instant speed removal there, for the the wolf token. I am not going Keeping the land in hand because of arc bow. If we draw arc bow, we could play it and activate for four immediately. Only time will tell. This 
isn't a fight you can win. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Arc bow, save us. Me to phase you out of time? Well, we're wrecked. I've got it. Whoops. Ugh. Don't worry, I got this. Alright, so we're gonna be three and two, most likely. It's not over yet though. Not over yet. We're at twenty three. Might be a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, can't can't play that in the speed. Just draw an arc bow, that's all we need to do. Just draw an arc bow. Oh, They've I've drawn just tons of lands also, so like, you know, they only have the two cards over there that we need to be worried about. I had so much hope. It all went away. All my hope. That was everything I ever wanted. Was drawing that arc bow right there. That's more like it. So there's only two more in here because one got milled over with. With that, enter the God Eternals. How do they have everything they need? <laughs> whatever whatever card matches up well against the card that I have is exactly the card they have. Man. Yeah, everything's available Wednesday. Uh, the only the only slots I have taken up right now are yesterday or tomorrow second and Tuesday third. Those are the Let's only two slots down. that are taken up. So. No time for a break. Uh, yeah, Tuesday 4th or everything Wednesday would work there. I don't... Yeah, Echo Slayer. I'm not... Um, I don't really mind Thought Distortion, honestly. Especially if you have... Yeah, if you have like a, a ramp deck, like you got mana creatures and stuff, like Thought Distortion can do a whole lot. I don't mind that card too much. Hold that thought. Here we go. All right, three and two. 
So we started the day at 99%. We ended the day at 99%. And our record overall was nine and six. Like nine and six is like a really good win percentage. Like nine out of 15. Ugh. That's three out of five. That's 60%. Like winning 60% of your matches is really tough. That's like a, you know, there's not, there's not a ton of people that actually average winning 60% of their matches. So, um, getting 60% here and ending the day at the same ranking is what we started after 15 matches. That's, that's kind of, um, I don't know, depressing the right word, but that's kind of sad. That's, that's, uh, deflating. Um, But, oh well. The reason why we were not playing lands was because of this specific card in our in our deck where we need to be able to discard cards here. This is why we, we weren't playing lands because of Vivian's Arcbow. Uh, but yeah, we lost to Esper there. I don't know, just everything lined up really, really well for our Esper opponent in that game. I don't necessarily think that's like a, a matchup that we can't win or anything like that. It's just everything lined up for them. But um, anyway, about other stuff about our deck, I I really did like the Nightpack Ambusher, and I think that's a, a really a good spot to to um, to go with the deck. It was really strong, and Wrath Capacitor giving flash to all your other legendaries uh, for the Ambusher is really nice. Also, I I do wish that our deck had more to do early, but it's. You know, we only have the 60 slots. It's hard to fit those in. Deputy of Detention was really disappointing, to be honest. Deputy of Detention did not look good um, in kind of any of our games. I wonder if we could maybe do something else with the three mana slot there. Jade Light Rangers, the kind of card that I, I honestly like playing a couple Jade Light Rangers because it fits the curve pretty well, helps you hit your land drops and all that kind of stuff. So I wonder if just going to Jade Light Ranger... Could be more useful there. Teferi Time Raveler didn't do anything for us either. That was also not a very impressive card whatsoever. So maybe maybe just kind of go in with, with like Jade Light Rangers instead of those other three drops. Um, maybe like maybe like one more Incubation Druid and three Jade Light Rangers or something like that. Like that. Getting the extra lands is, is an important thing for Arcbow, of course. But maybe there's something better to do, because the the deputies and the, the time ravelers, while they've been okay at, at times, they were not impressive in any of those games. Um, well, freebooter is a, a black card. We're not going to be playing that card. Uh, Tithe taker. I think I would rather have branch walker or uh, jade light ranger than tithe taker. I'd rather have either of those. Cause I want the. I'd rather have the card advantage uh, than either of those. So there we go. That's Bant Arcbo. The conclusion to our uh, rank up Sunday stream. Uh, at least the rank up part. We still have a donation deck to play. As you can see there, we're going to be playing some Jeskai Walkers as a donation deck. Um, but that's it here for Bant Arcbo. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this version of the deck. We're getting there. Uh, definitely looked a lot better than the last version that we played. Uh, Ambusher, good addition. Uh, so there we go. Uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thank you so much for watching some Ban Arcbow, and I will see you for the next video.